Now, I want to talk about the ongoing situation with Kosovo and Serbia. Obviously, this is the elephant in the room that we have to talk about. And I wondered, can you give me a general overview of the status of the investigation into the terrorist attack? What's the situation now on the border between Kosovo and Serbia and in the north in terms of security? And also, can we expect elections to be taking place in the north within the next few months? Or what's the timeline for those? I hope I will manage to summarize all the elements required in your question. Uh, let me start by the security situation. Uh, as long as Serbia uh, resists to deal with the consequences of Bainska, which means arrest participants and extradict them to the Kosovo authorities, but these people are left in freedom and they're still circulating around the border to Kosovo and preparing and training for new attacks. We cannot claim and pretend that the situa security situation is, uh, is okay. But what we know is that K4 is much more vigilant in the north and the joint patrols of K4 with the Kosovo police have increased dramatically in the, uh, in the period after, after Banska. Uh, we have concluded our investigations. Unfortunately, we see uh, a reluctance of our prosecutor authorities to move faster. To what extent this is produced endogenously by the internal procedures, to what extent they might be exposed to pressures from outside factors, it still remains to be seen. Uh, in the meantime, also US authorities have run some independent investigations. We believe that they should be published or they should have been published by now. Uh, but the common denominator of all of this investigation is that in all activities before and after Bainska, you don't have necessary only involvement of Serbia authorities. You have the traces that go back to Vucic. Mm -hmm. Because there was a tendency on the Serbian side to only partially accept the blame and assign this blame to independently acting groups within the Maybe. Serb intelligence or within the military and others, which, if accepted, will create a larger problem. Mm -hmm. Because if Serbian authorities publicly say that we don't have under control our intelligence service, we don't have under control our police and our military, pretty much they are saying that all the region is under threat. Mm -hmm. And they're saying that the problem is not in Kosovo, is not in Montenegro, is not in Bosnia and Herzegovina, but inside Serbia. Then the question will be whether maybe this K4 troops should not be located in another country to secure the stability of the region. Can I just ask, the, you said the investigation has been finalized. Has a copy of this been given to the European Commission? To the uh, we have given a copy of our mm -hmm. findings. However, findings can produce actions and steps only uh, from the prosecutor's side. Okay. So. And because I'd spoken with Peter Stano at the end of November and I'd asked, you know, what, what information have you had? What status is the investigation? I was asking in relation to possible measures against Serbia, which we know have been drafted. And he said, well, it's, we're not doing the investigation. We have to wait for the investigation to come from Kosovo. And he didn't really want to commit to where we were in this process and whether Serbia would be facing any measures. Um, so I'm trying to understand well, what's uh, going on here. Kosovo is under measures. Peter Stanton never said, OK, we need to wait for an independent investigation to see whether Kosovo can be blamed for this reason. So pretty much. Uh, the idea that we need to wait for the investigation so that we can discuss uh, potential uh, installment of measures is a pretext. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's a double standard. It's a double standard. Because they did it for Kosovo very quickly and now for Serbia it's, oh, let's wait and see what happens. Um, now, when this all happened, when things escalated in the north, there was the attack on NATO troops, etc., and these measures came in. And there was criticism against the government and Albin Kurti, the prime minister. This came from the US, from the EU. I'm not going to go into my personal views on that. But do you think Kosovo should have played a more diplomatic game? Do you think there was anything that could have been done differently? Because 
and I'm playing devil's advocate here, what we see now, the measures against Kosovo, but not against Serbia, that sort of played into Alexander Vucic's hand a bit. Retrospectively, is there anything that could have been done slightly differently? Well, first, I think the initial bias and the problem is created when we try to see the developments in the North as a game. When you see them from Brussels or from Bratislava, it is easily to fall into this trap and say there is a game, some players are playing better, others are not playing better. For us, it's not a game. So if you are in Slovakia, but your country is already in the EU, is a member of NATO and others, you can play games. But when you are in Kosovo, you don't have the candidacy status, you're not even a member of the Council of Europe, you don't have the partnership for peace, it's a matter of existence, it's not a matter of, and our statehood was under threat in the north. So you don't play games with the status of your statehood or this challenges on the statehood. Pretty much you should not put Kosovo under the situation when you, you say them either you play in the hands of Vucic by accommodating his request or you play in the hands of Vucic by not accommodating his requests. So because if both options lead to the same outcome, then I will choose the one which doesn't accommodate his requests. Mm -hmm. It's a matter of sovereignty, of, of doing what's best for the country, not what somebody in a different city or country or continent thinks is best for the country. Well, we, we can make compromises when it comes to alternatives. Mm -hmm. Should we have, let's say, investor from X country on the energy or Epsilon country or vice? Should we invest in Zubin Potok or in Lepo Savic? Mm -hmm. Here we are free to... But should we see ourselves as sovereign or should we not see it? Should we close the eyes? I think you should not put the question, the country under that dilemma. Mm -hmm.